from Parliament where there was heated exchanges between the Speaker and the minority leader on the floor over the passage of the Rights to Information Bill. While the Speaker wanted the bill to be passed before the House rises, the minority leader argued certain clauses in the bill needed to be looked at before passage. The right to information bill is more than 10 years old and yet to be passed. The current parliament has, however, made progress with it. There are currently 24 proposed amendments left to be made to the bill. The current Speaker of Parliament, Edward Do Ajaho, has on several occasions indicated the commitment of the House to passing the bill. On Tuesday, when the MPs resumed for the last sitting of the House, the bill was on the schedule to be taken through the consideration stage. But when the process began, MP for Adansia Sokwa, Katie Hammond, said members did not form a quorum to proceed. The exercise was therefore suspended after 10 minutes. On Wednesday, the Speaker urged members to stay in the chamber to enable work on the bill to be done as the House has made commitments to passing it. But the Deputy Minority Leader said he was unaware of the commitment. I know that we have agreed that we have to pass all bills. But that commitment to say that there is a particular bill we have to pass before the House and that arrangement among leadership, I am not aware. Yesterday, before you handed over to the first deputy, the aside, there were more than 40 people on the aside. But by the time the first deputy speaker took the seat, for whatever reason, the place became empty. There was back and forth with the speaker insisting the bill must be passed, but that did not go down well with the minority leader. We must act in accord with that. Without, without prejudice to what I am the accord. presidential transition, I know you made this point that. very clear. The presidential transition act is the presidential transition act. It's no parliamentary transition act. Is that the way you want to go? If that is the way the speaker wants to go, with respect, I will tell you that then we will not want to be part of any initiative act. We will not want to be any part of any initiative act. It will be a shame, it will be a shame that you are promising to have it, to have it in just two weeks. If that's the attitude, you will have it in, the, in two weeks. Honourable members, but before I call the minority leader, let me make the point clear that this is not a matter that is being referred to a committee. It's a matter that is referred to a committee. The committee has referred to it. We have transacted business. It is outstanding. It is not a new business for crying out loud. The consideration stage was subsequently suspended. Some members of the majority were surprised. The minority is kicking against passage of the bill. You call for a meeting. We go into the meeting. Before you realize, a whole group are out of the meeting. The question we need to ask is, why the sudden turn of events, especially on the side of the minority? The minority insisted they have problems with some clauses of the bill. What we don't want is for somebody to push anything down our throat and say that we have agreed to pass. And when it doesn't pass, then the person will say that it is all of us who have disappointed the nation. No, 